All right, guys. Welcome to that special with Captain Shane. I'm taking you back right now to where it all, where these videos all begin, deep in the Big Cypress Preserve. I'm going to be fishing around the alligators. I know we'll catch some bass. It's, a, it's Thanksgiving, so it's a, the water's a little bit high. It's not going to be as fishy as it as it can get as the water drops. But I'm going to do the best I can. I've got some time off. I got the tundra in four-wheel drive, and I'm penetrating in one of these access roads. It ain't easy, man. I'm taking a beating getting in here. But I tell you what, it'll be worth it. I know we're going to catch a lot of fish. Guys, stay tuned. It's going to be pretty cool. Get ready to see a bunch of alligators. This is the area that I haven't been into in probably four years. Uh, since I traded my Jeep in and got my Toyota Tundra, I've been afraid to come back here. Even though I got four-wheel drive, I didn't want to beat it up. That Jeep was actually made for this, this here terrain. But uh, I don't know about this Toyota, but I'm getting in there, man. I'm sacrificing. I got the itch for some Everglades bass, man. I think I'll skip that spot. Wow, look at that one gator. He's missing the top of his mouth. Look over there. Looks like bone sticking out. Somebody's done tore the top of his mouth off. Another gator. Poor fella. Wow. These guys got rough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're finna set up here. Oh, yeah. Let's get it on right here. Oh, yeah. Looking good. All them gators. Let's catch this with Captain Shane. I'm out here in the glades today. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing, but I've got a brand new reel. This company called Pisiphon sent me this reel the other day. It's the Stone ST20. It's their top of the line spinning reel. So I'm going to right quick just um, uh, put it through the reviews. But just, just right offhand, I can notice that it's got an EVA foam grip, 10 ball bearings. It's ultra smooth, reversible handle. handle um, and it is a, a, a freshwater uh, slash saltwater reel. So It'll go both ways. So we're fixing to spool it up, and I'm going to give it a little Everglades uh, test right quick and see how it goes, okay? so healthy this time of the year that water's running out there there's no stagnation in the glades whatsoever and uh, these fish are just clean right now you fix to see something pretty cool here comes an airboat here he comes bearing so it ought to be smooth. Doing what I what I asked. Handle feels nice. Got no problems. You can get this reel on Amazon. That's Pisiphon. It's it's the it's, it's the model Stone 20. 
It's their top of the line spinning reel. I think it retails for about a buck twenty nine, but it's on Amazon for ninety nine bucks. So, you know, check it out, Amazon. That's a Pisipin Stone Twenty uh, for ninety nine bucks on Amazon. It works. I can't remember what model Husky Jerk this is, um, but anyway. You see how I jerk it. I jerk the crap out of it. That's what I like to do down in the glades. I don't know about any other areas, but this is this is my bread. This is one of my bread and butter lures, uh, all winter long and all spring long down in the Everglades. I love that that color right there. It's a Tennessee uh, Tennessee shine or Tennessee shad. I think that's what that's called. But anyway, little husky jerk by Rapala. Bad little lure. Whoa. I can see some big bass cruising across this airboat. This right here. It's gonna. I'm gonna catch one of these. These bass, I'll show you in a minute, but um, the Army Corps of Engineers or whoever dug this canal way back when, they backfilled a, couple, you know, a lot of these sections so that it would retain water during the drought. And, um, Anyway, I can just see all the gar and the bass stacked up on it. And they're just moving through in waves and stuff. Anyway, I knew I'd catch one there. It's kind of, that's kind of like taking candy from babies right there. Now I'm gonna tell you, doing this, this time of the year in the Everglades, in this kind of location, probably don't have any chance of getting any size. But if you just wanna get out and have some fun, that's hard to beat, hard to beat. Another try, got a Rage, a Rage product right there, like a Rage bug or something like that. Let's see what it'll do. All right, let's see what it'll do. Rage, a little rage bug or something like that. I'm not, I'm not even sure which, which one of the rage products this is. But lost my tail and they still took it. Got to find some big fish. Got to find some. Say this is the Everglades. All you catching is dinks, dude. This is a million five hundred thousand acres, and uh. Right now, because the water's still sort of high, I can only access a few of these spots. So I'm doing the best I can, so ease off. <laughs> Watch, this airboat is fixing to pop out right here. Here he comes.
there's some big fish down there. I know there are, but I don't know if I can cast that far. Oh my goodness. What if a foul hook just bass? I think I just had to turn. I think they're feeding back in this direction. I mean, my goodness, just bam, bam, bam. But anyway, that little stone, that uh, Pisciplin Stone 20 reel is no, no issues at all. No issues at all. Go get you one. Amazon, 99 bucks. 10 ball bearings. Oh, yeah. That one's in the rocks. In the rocks. Oh, yeah. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Tell you folks, like I said, Everglades, they're small, but man, they're good. Look, you guys know what I'm talking about when you foul hook that bass. It always feels like it's about twice the size it is. It's a good bass, but he's foul hooked. And I'm going to end it right there, guys. I appreciate you guys watching uh, down here. This is the first time I've been to, to, into this part of the glades in like four years. Um, I came to do a field test, uh, a review of the um, Pistophon um, Stone 20 reel available on Amazon for about 99 bucks. But anyway, it's a good little reel. And... Uh, Knocked out two things. I got a, I got an Everglades video. I did a, a real review and I had a blast. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned, all right? Captain Shane out.